The Athletic, in an exclusive story by Evan Drylock and Ken Rosenthal, have uncovered the fact that through the 2017 season, the Houston Astros were stealing signs electronically, which is illegal in their home games. And you could say, well, that's just, you know, uh, Spygate, you know, with the, the Patriots, it was, you know, one guy said this. I mean, did they have anybody really on the record? They have, they have a guy on the record, a guy that was on the team, Mike Fires, a pitcher, who laid out exactly what they do. And remember, Yankee fans, if you want to get angry, the Yankees lost every single game at Minute Maid Park in the 2017 ALCS. And the last two games, they couldn't score a run. So here's how the Astros did it. They positioned a camera in center field that was zeroed in on the catcher's signs. Okay. That camera had a direct feed to a monitor that was put on the wall between the dugout and the clubhouse, so essentially in the runway. There would be people standing there throughout the game trying to decipher the signs. And once they got the signs, what they would do is they would bang a metal garbage can when they saw the sign for a breaking ball or a changeup. So the batter knew when it wasn't going to be a fastball. And if he didn't hear a sound, he could sit on a fastball. And it worked because the Astros won the championship. Now you could say, they won seven, game seven in L.A. Okay, yeah, they're, they're also a pretty good team, but they have espionage somewhat behind them. Now, so many people in baseball talk about the fact that the Astros steal signs illegally, and that's why I don't think they do as good a job of it anymore because even if there's nobody on base, on, when the Yankees are playing the Astros, all they do is they put down multiple signs. It's hard to decipher, right. even if you have a camera trained on the catcher. So... You can also say, well, the Washington Nationals won all four games at Minute Maid Park. Yeah, they did, because I don't think it's as effective anymore because of the fact that people now well, put down multiple signs. Well, also, Michael, in any kind of conspiracy, it's probably smart to change it up as you go along, right? So after you win the championship in 2017, wouldn't logic tell you, okay, we're going to have to come up with something else because players are going to leave, members of the organization are going to move on, People are going to get hip to it. We're going to have to change it. We're going to have to come up with a different way. And maybe they did. Or maybe they just stopped doing it altogether because they were just afraid that eventually they would get caught. So maybe they didn't do it this year. Maybe do they you, didn't do it the year before. Here's the question. Do you think it's cheating? Well, yeah, it's cheating. It for is sure. Cheating. Especially with the... With electronic the Electronic cheating. stuff. Now, if you, you have somebody on the, the, uh, in the dugout that can, like, decipher the signs, or if you've got somebody standing at second base that can see what the catcher's putting down, I think that's gamesmanship. But once you get to electronics and yes. banging of a trash can, and now I think it's different. I think if you can catch it from where you're seated in the stadium, you're just staring at it, right. and you figure it out... That's gamesmanship. Now, I, think, I think once you add these other systems, it's straight up cheating. Now, it's not foolproof because Minute Maid's one of the loudest buildings in the league. So Yeah, they said it wasn't effective during the 2017 World Series because it was so loud they couldn't hear the banging of the trash can. I'm sure it was loud in Game 6 and 7 against the Yankees, too. So is it possible that they tried to do it and but it, it wasn't it's, heard? It's not, it's not deafening like in the first six innings. You no, know? That, no, that's true, but a big moment. But the fact is, it's cheating. So what do you do about it? If this, if we find this out and it's like to the level of Spygate, and in, in some ways it might even be worse than Spygate. I think it's worse. Because you're talking about something that's actually happening in-game rather than collecting knowledge. It's something that you're doing within the game. And you know how baseball players feel about stealing signs in general. Like what I described to you, Peter, about from the dugout or the guy at second base, they don't even like doing that. They look at that as like a form of cheating. So if you do it using electronics, it's clearly cheating. Absolutely. So taking draft picks away, suspending... You know, members of the front office. I mean, what, what is that going to do at the end of the well, day? It's going to be well, interesting, what's gonna though, happen? because they're in, ba Major League Baseball is investigating the Astros because of the guy Taubman, who shot at the thing at, you know, at the, the female reporters. Yeah. So he's been fired. Who knows if he flips on the Astros? And I've, I've always thought like Don, too. How do you cheat something like this with espionage when you lose players? So Mike Byers, 
Mike Fires was not tendered a contract at the end of 2017. Well, you don't say. So he was a little chap, but he also said he's been on the A's and the Tigers. He said, and he told them exactly what was going on, all the players. He said, because when you're cheating like that, the young players get affected and they lose jobs because of it. He said, you can have a young pitcher who doesn't know what's going on, gets knocked around first two innings, gets sent down to the minor leagues, might not ever be called up again because they had the signs. See, now that's another angle to it. Yeah. That you're not just playing with the scores in a game, but people's livelihoods. Yeah. That's, that's tough. Right. Now, Michael, you've always said that whether it's, you know, pine tar on the bill of the cap and managers letting it go because, hey, we're cheating too. I wonder if baseball were to do an investigation and tell all the other owners in Major League Baseball, we're going to investigate this and we're going to kind of go around baseball and check things out, whether they say, you know what, let it go. <laughs> because they're afraid their system might be found out. Right. You know, so I'm wondering what baseball's appetite is to catch the Astros in the first place. Like, is it better for them to do the investigation, say they found nothing, than to actually say that they found something, that the Astros compromised a championship, but all we can do is take draft picks away? I and mean, is that, is that help the game of baseball? Think about the lives that changed, too. Let, let's say that they had the signs for the Yankees in 2017. If the Yankees go to the World Series and win the World Series, is Joe Girardi still the manager? Although Hal Steinberg, is. no, Hal Steinberg has come on the air and say they're going to make a change no matter what. But mm. boy, the, the pressure would be on to change if they won the World Series. I mean, a lot of lives change, a lot. Well, everything changes, Michael, because you're, you're now you're talking about an Astro team that they lost to the Red Sox last year and they lost to the Nationals this year, but they still won a championship. If they didn't win that championship in 2017, we're kind of talking about a team that right. bridesmaid never a bride. They can't win the big game. They can't win the championship. Contract extensions happen because of that championship. Guys may be looked upon differently for their careers because they won the championship there. It affects everybody. And, and, and also, you know, we look at Altuve as this amazing player. We, we look at Springer and everybody that's on the Astros. Do we look at them differently if we found out that they were getting the signs? Like, so... It is a colossal story here, but it doesn't seem like the punishment will fit the crime because what can they do? They're not going to take the championship away from the Astros. No, no, but they're, they're going to they take some kind of draft picks away. No, so they'll take some draft picks away. And listen, the, the Patriots lost a bunch of draft picks. They just kept marching along, kept winning championships. So if Spygate actually did work, other than the effect of their reputation, which I'm not sure Bill Belichick cares about anyway, didn't stop them from going out there and still being the best football team in the league. So... If baseball punishes the Astros and they keep winning, yeah, people will say they're cheaters and people will try to claim that the 2017 championship is Fugazi. But at the end of the day, didn't it end up being worth it? You won a championship, everybody made their money, and losing draft picks at the end of the day is probably worth it. Uh, I wonder if baseball would ever do anything like the, the silliness that they do in the NCAA where they vacate titles. <sighs> All right, so how does that help baseball? You can't give the championship to the Dodgers. They wouldn't even want it. You, would you want your championship? You lost, but because of some kind of uh, yeah, rule you, violation, we're going to give you the championship? Yeah, but maybe they could say, well, we lost because they were cheating. I understand that. So maybe they would take the championship. But would you as a Dodger fan really feel like you won a championship when you didn't do it on the field and celebrate it? So even if you got the championship, you're two years removed from it, uh, Peter. Wouldn't that look like a kind of stained championship? Yeah, no one's going to be, Nobody's what are you going to want that? Are you going to celebrate it now? Have a Pop parade? Champagne. Yeah, pop yeah. All of a sudden, everyone's wearing goggles and you, and you have a parade?